Hi, I'm Deb, and this is my kitchen. Store-bought applesauce is kind of bleh. I mean, it's almost like baby food. Well, today I'm going to show you how I make fantastic chunky applesauce at home. It's super simple and way better than the stuff on the shelf. Anyone can do it, and once you've tried it, you're never going to want the store-bought stuff again. Are you ready? Because the kitchen is now open. Come on in. Let's cook up something good. For my homemade chunky applesauce, the ingredients I'll be using are a blend of at least four different apples with Granny Smith as the constant. For this batch, I'm also using Pink Ladies, Galas, and Fujis. I choose my other apples depending on what's currently available and what's the best price. The number of apples you use is up to you and depends on how much applesauce you want to make. This time, I have 17 apples. Now the only other ingredient I'm using is 100% unsweetened apple juice or apple cider. Our first step is the most labor intensive because we have to rinse, peel, core, and slice all of our apples. I highly recommend that you don't try to do all of this with just a paring knife. I have found that this tool is my best friend when I make applesauce or apple pies. Now it doesn't rinse the apples for me, but it does peel, core, and slice all at the same time. It is so worth it. First, I rinse my apples and then using my handy dandy tool, I peel, core, and slice my apples all in one step. If you're using a spiralizer peeler like I am, slide back the main crank, put your apple on the prongs stem end first, and make sure it's straight as possible, and then slowly crank to engage the peeler blade. Continue to crank until the apple passes all the way through the core slicer blade and remove from the prongs. You'll end up with a spiral of apple similar to a slinky toy or spring. Repeat with all of your apples. Next, remove any remaining skin and then quarter your apples. Feel for and trim away any seed casing so there won't be anything hard in your applesauce. Then toss your slices into the pot. The hard part is done. Now all we have left to do is cook our apples on the stove, so we're going to boil them, but not in water. That'll take away the flavor. We're going to boil them with apple juice. So I just have my apple juice I'm adding to the pot, and it's not a measured amount. What I'm actually looking for as I'm pouring in slowly is to start seeing some of the juice peeking around the edges of my apples on the edge, around the edge of the pot. Oh, I can see it. More juice comes out of the apples, too, and I don't want it to just be so much juice. I'm going to put the lid on and turn my flame on to medium heat and allow this to slowly come up to a boil. It may take anywhere from five to seven minutes or so to boil, so I'm not going to stand here. You know, they say a watch pot never boils. So I'm going to walk away, but I'm going to keep my eyes and ears open as I'm tidying up around the kitchen. When it starts to boil, we'll come back and show you what to do next. You can see that the apple juice is boiling. The apples on top are still crunchy, but the bottom apples are getting soft. So I stir them gently to bring the bottom ones up to the top. Replace your lid and continue to boil on medium. Check again in five minutes and if the juice is starting to sputter on your stove, reduce the heat to medium-low and stir the bottom to the top again. Continue to cook until apples reach desired degree of softness. I like mine a little firm, like the insides of an apple pie. The apples will continue to soften a bit more as they cool. Store them in the refrigerator and they'll keep for 7 to 10 days. We like to reheat ours in the microwave for serving. Next, we're going to take a look at our results and a serving suggestion. But first, I want to thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please let us know. Okay, here's the finished product and how we like to serve it at our house. Okay, here's a bowl of name brand store bought applesauce. And here is our chunky homemade version. If you got to pick, which one would you choose? For me, it's chunky homemade any day. 
I love it. The key to applesauce bliss is in a blend of apples, natural sweetening from the apple juice or cider, and the spice. In our house, we love cinnamon and sugar or Splenda. And of course, it has to be served warm, like fresh apple pie right out of the oven. Once you've tried that, you are never going to want that store-bought stuff again. And it will bring your family to the dinner table where family is filled. Because if you feed them, they will come.